Pacific Southwest Airlines Flight 1771 was a scheduled flight from Los Angeles, California, to San Francisco. On 7 December 1987, the British Aerospace 146-200A, registration N350PS, crashed in Cayucos, California, as a result of a murder-suicide by one of the passengers. All 43 passengers and crew aboard the plane died, five of whom, including the two pilots, were presumably shot dead before the plane crashed. The man who caused the crash, David Augustus Burke, was a former employee of U.S. Air, the parent company of Pacific Southwest Airlines. Topic incident U.S. Air, which had recently purchased Pacific Southwest Airlines PSA, terminated David A. Burke, an aircraft cleaning specialist, for petty theft of $69 from in-flight cocktail receipts. He had also been suspected of involvement with a narcotics ring. After meeting with Ray Thompson, his manager, in an unsuccessful attempt to be reinstated, Burke purchased a ticket on PSA Flight 1771, a daily flight from Los Angeles International Airport LAX to San Francisco International Airport SFO. Thompson was a passenger on the flight, which he regularly took for his daily commute from his workplace at LAX to his home in the San Francisco Bay Area. Flight 1771 departed from LAX at 1531 Pacific Standard Time, scheduled to arrive in San Francisco at 1643, using U.S. Air employee credentials that he had not yet surrendered. Burke, armed with a Smith & Wesson Model 29.44 Magnum revolver that he had borrowed from a co-worker, was able to bypass the normal passenger security checkpoint at LAX. After boarding the plane, Burke wrote a message on an airsickness bag, but it is not known if he gave the message to Thompson to read before shooting him. The note read, Hi Ray. I think it's sort of ironical that we end up like this. I asked for some leniency for my family. Remember? Well, I got none and you'll get none. As the aircraft, a four-engine British Aerospace BAE 146-200, cruised at 22,000 feet 6, meters over the central California coast, the cockpit voice recorder CVR recorded the sound of someone entering and then leaving the lavatory. A Mayday episode suggests that this was Burke entering the lavatory to draw his revolver discreetly, possibly loading it and giving Thompson time to read the note before killing him. Captain Greg Lindemood, 44, and 48-year-old First Officer James Nunn were asking air traffic control about turbulence when the CVR picked up the sound of two shots being fired in the cabin. The most plausible theory as to what happened was deduced from the pattern and audible volume of the shots on the CVR. According to the Mayday episode, it is likely that Burke first shot Thompson twice. Thompson's own seat was never recovered. Part of a seat that was identified from its serial number as being directly behind Thompson's was found to contain two bullet holes. As a result of the revolver's considerable power, the bullets could have traveled through Thompson's body, his seat, and then through the seat behind. First Officer Nunn immediately reported to air traffic control that a gun had been fired, but no further transmissions were received from the crew. The CVR then recorded the cockpit door opening and flight attendant Deborah Neal telling the cockpit crew, we have a problem, to which Captain Lindemood replied, what's the problem? A shot was heard as Burke shot the flight attendant dead and announced, I'm the problem. He then fired two more rounds. Most likely, he shot the captain and first officer once each, incapacitating them, if not outright killing them. Several seconds later, the CVR picked up increasing windscreen noise as the airplane pitched down and accelerated. The remains of the flight data recorder FDR indicated Burke had pushed the control column forward into a dive. A final gunshot was heard followed not long after by a sudden silence. It is most likely that Burke killed Douglas Arthur, PSA's chief pilot in Los Angeles, who was also on board as a passenger and who may have been trying to reach the cockpit to save the aircraft. There was speculation that Burke shot himself, though this seems unlikely, because a fragment of Burke's fingertip was lodged in the trigger when the investigators found the revolver. This indicated that he was alive and he was holding the gun until the moment of impact. The plane crashed into the hillside of a cattle ranch at 4.16 p.m. in the Santa Lucia Mountains near Paso Robles and Cayucos, exploding on impact. The plane was estimated to have crashed slightly faster than the speed of sound, at around 770 miles per hour 1,240 kilometers per hour, disintegrating instantly. Based on the deformation of the hardened steel black box data recorder case, the aircraft experienced a deceleration of 5,000 times the force of gravity G -force when it hit the ground. It was traveling at an approximately 70-degree angle toward the south. The plane struck a rocky hillside, leaving a crater less than 2 feet 0.6 meters deep and 4 feet 1.2 meters across. 
The remains of 27 of the passengers were never identified. After the crash site was located by a CBS News helicopter piloted by Bob Turr, investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board (NTSB) were joined by the Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI). After two days of digging through what was left of the plane, they found the parts of a handgun containing six spent cartridge cases and the note on the air sickness bag written by Burke, indicating that he may have been responsible for the crash. FBI investigators were able to lift a print from a fragment of finger stuck in the revolver's trigger guard, which positively identified Burke as holding the weapon when the aircraft crashed. In addition to the evidence uncovered at the crash site, other factors surfaced. Burke's co-worker admitted to having lent him the gun, and Burke had also left a farewell message on his girlfriend's answering machine. <laughs> David A. Burke David Augustus Burke, the 18th of May 1952 to the 7th of December 1987, was born to Jamaican parents living in the UK. Burke later emigrated to the United States with his parents. He had previously worked for US Air in Rochester, New York, where he was a suspect in a drug smuggling ring that was bringing cocaine from Jamaica to Rochester via the airline. He was never officially charged and reportedly relocated to Los Angeles to avoid future suspicions. Some former girlfriends, neighbors, and law enforcement officials described him as a violent man before the events of Flight 1771. He had seven children, but never married. <laughs> Aftermath Several federal laws were passed after the crash, including a law that required "...immediate seizure of all airline and airport employee credentials." after an employee's termination from an airline or airport position. A policy was also implemented stipulating that all airline flight crew and airport employees were to be subject to the same security measures as airline passengers. The crash killed the president of Chevron USA, James Siller, along with three of that company's public affairs executives. Also killed were three officials of Pacific Bell, prompting many large corporations to create policies to forbid travel by multiple executives on the same flight, in the Garden of Hope. Section of the Los Ozos Valley Memorial Park, there is a granite and bronze marker honoring the 42 victims of Flight 1771, and a number of the passengers and crew are buried in that cemetery. Dramatization <laughs> 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 An episode of the Canadian documentary TV series made a titled, I'm the Problem. Murder on Board for UK broadcasts chronicled the events of flight 1771 and its ensuing investigation topic see also aviation safety pacific airlines flight 773 a similar mass murder suicide in 1964 fedex express flight 705 a failed hijacking murder suicide in 1994 Samuel Bike attempted to hijack airliner to fly into the White House in 1974. List of accidents and incidents involving commercial aircraft. List of Mayday episodes. List of rampage killers, Americas. List of accidents and incidents involving airliners in the United States section California.